just like that it's uh, morning time again we made it to New Lister last night we slept at the uh, the Petro like I said there I went to the Husky first to fill up so I could get a free shower and then I went across the street to the Petro park there so I could go eat a good home-cooked meal it was awesome I had a club sandwich with the poutine oh it was delicious but 10 out of 10 eat there again now we're just at the McDonald's and just uh, went and got in and got myself a coffee. No breakfast. I'm not a breakfast person. In the morning especially, I don't know, I don't eat in the morning. Usually around like 10, 10 o'clock or so. There's cards everywhere. Oh, we're good. We got this. I just gotta try and get my way out of here without hitting anything. Because this thing tail swings as well as doesn't turn. And after you, I am not good. Oh, what was I saying? Yeah, usually around 10 o'clock, I'll have the uh, Ailey pack of yogurt with uh, mixed fruits in there and uh, granolas. That's usually my go-to choice for for a breakfast right around 10 o'clock in the morning there. Okay, let's get it. Oh, and they start coming out of here. So if anybody decides to come out of nowhere, they see me and may have time to slow down. So yeah, um, yeah, we got our coffee. We loaded up last night. I called the guy and I told him that I was on my way. He said I'll leave it outside the gate for you. You can just come pick it up and uh, and get ready to leave. So that was good. Because realistically, I would not want to have to pick this up this early in the morning. I really am not a morning person. I need, you know, like an hour or two before I actually start to, uh, to function. For the caffeine to hit my blood. This corner here is really tight. You really got to cut it, especially with this truck. They did not design this for trucks. Let's see. Okay, start cranking right away as soon as you get up. I know you guys didn't see that, but you saw me crank it. So, uh, yeah, so now we're uh, back on uh, Highway 11. We are southbound. It's very sunny today. It is bright. Although up ahead looks cloudy. But I don't think there was supposed to be any snowfall anywhere. So I think we'll be pretty okay. If, uh, if there's no snow today, that'll probably be the longest trip I have done where there was no snow for the whole trip. Now that would be cool. That'd be a record, I think. For so far this winter, anyways. But, yeah. Excuse me. That one snuck up on me. We are heading back home. I get to sleep in my own bed tonight. Not that I don't sleep all in the truck. I sleep like awesome in the truck. But I'm looking forward to having my own bed tonight.
Ontario. This is the uh, little hamlet of Field. And by hamlet, I mean blink and you miss the whole town. It's, uh, it's a very small town. It's kind of the suburb to Sturgeon Falls. It's in the West Nipissing uh, County, I guess you could call it. District? County? Something? West Nipissing is an area of Northern Ontario, so it's got like Sturgeon Falls, Verner, Field, um, I think Warren as well. I'm not entirely sure, to be honest, but yeah. It's a cute little town. Very, very cute. I like it. I like coming through here. It's always uh, a nice little small town to drive through. And yeah, that was pretty much it. We just drove right through it. <laughs> there is not a whole lot to it. We have a post office and an LCBO. So what every small town needs in Northern Ontario, right? It's actually funny. I think I've mentioned this in one of my very, very first vlogs that every small town in Northern Ontario, or not every small town will have a grocery store, but they will definitely all have a liquor store or a beer store. I've noticed that living up here. You drive through small towns and you look for a grocery store because you want to go buy a sandwich or something, right? No grocery store, but sure ahead, go, you know, sure, go ahead and buy yourself a bottle of whiskey. Sounds about right. I guess it's how they stay sane in those towns. Me personally, I don't drink, not even on my own free time. Uh, I've never been into it, but... Oh, is that Venice? No, oh, never mind. I thought that was one of our trucks, because we have the same one. Oh, I love this Western Star. Like, that's probably one of my favorite trucks that I see driving on the road. Now, I've yet to have the chance to meet the guy and talk to him, though. Tell him I freaking love his truck. There's a lot of loggers out today on this highway. In the summertime, there's always quite a few, but in the wintertime, they're kind of far and few between, but I've seen like six or seven of them. And that's something one day I think I would like to try is logging. I don't know if I could do it, but I would like to try it, just to say that I tried it. Because I know their roads get pretty nasty, especially in the uh, first snowfall in the fall and the, uh, the, the spring thaw when everything's melting. Those roads get very sloppy. And uh, it's a pretty dangerous job, so I would like to try it one day, though, just to say that I tried. Yeah.
a good day driving. And uh, I'm assuming I'm more than likely going to be local for the rest of the day. So I'm going to... Oh, there's an oversight coming my way. Or you just have your sign because you want to be that kind of guy. There was a pilot truck and uh, had his D sign on it. But I don't see no oversights. I hate when people do that. When they're driving and they have like a step deck and they're empty and they have their oversized banners on and they got their beacons going but there's nothing on the trailer. Why are you doing that? Now I'm moving over for what? But again, I guess I can kind of see the logic behind it because people love to hunt the yellow line in the wintertime. I can see that. But yeah. Um, anyways, back to my point. <laughs> I'm going to probably end the vlog here because I'm going to assume I'm going to be vocal for the rest of the day. Like I said, it's a, it's a lot to handle the vlogging and the being local all in one day. So we're just coming into one of the day right now. And uh, it's pretty much sun right now. So I just got to go drop this car off at the auction. And then uh, from there on, uh, who knows what the day holds for me. We'll find out. Uh, so I was supposed to go to Toronto today. But because I slept out of town, I sent uh, the other tandem driver. Colin is his name. He's a really nice guy. He's taught me a lot. I like him a lot. He's a really good guy. He called me yesterday to ask, like, you know, how the place is. And uh, so I was supposed to pick up that Jeep that I brought down there last week, right? And uh, yeah, so he called me. And he's like, yeah, where is it? How is it? Because he's go. He he left yesterday to go pick up a brand new C cam that the company just bought. And then from there, okay, dude, like, come on. Uh, he left yesterday to go pick up a brand new sea can that the company just bought to go load the Jeep in, in Toronto and then bring the Jeep back to Sudbury or Alvin and then go drop the sea can off at our lot. And uh, yes, we called me. He was like, uh, like, is there anywhere I can sleep nearby? Because obviously he's been doing this for a long time, right? But downtown Toronto is not trucker friendly. And I told him, like, no, your best bet is probably just sleep at the King City on road. And that's exactly what he did. And uh, yeah, so I didn't end up going. That's fine. You know, I've been out of town for the last two days. So yeah, I'm really not complaining. It's been. Uh, been a good week. It's Wednesday and I'm just getting back into town now. No complaints there, honestly. So yeah, no, I'm actually going to end the vlog for real this time. And uh, I invite you to like and subscribe and uh, comment so that uh, my videos get more views and I can try to grow my channel a little bit, you know? If I could reach 100 subscribers by, by summertime, that'd be really awesome. That would be really cool. I would like that a lot. And I think I'm at 36 right now, so... Smash that like button, leave me a comment if you liked it or if you didn't like it, tell me why. And 